In this video, let's look at how you could actually replace old videos with the new uh, videos in Microsoft Stream. So um, there's actually a quite interesting use case around this. So here I am on my human resources um, SharePoint site and have a page dedicated to explaining how to create a new employee survey, right? So as part of that instructions, I have a small video which explains uh, how gives you the instructions to go and create a new employee survey form. So I'm using the Microsoft Stream to host this instructional video. So uh, now, as we know, the Microsoft uh, Forms interface have, has changed uh, slightly. Uh, they have a new dashboard to go to create new uh, forms, right? So I wanted to go and update this instruction. So instead of actually coming in, you know, creating a new video and then uploading that to stream and then coming back into SharePoint to up update your page with a new video, there's actually an easier way of doing this. You can cut down the number of steps to replace existing videos. This is quite handy, especially if you have lots of videos which are already pre-published uh, to your audience. So I'm gonna go back into Microsoft uh, Stream here and here you can actually see I've got this uh, video that got, that's uh, hosted on my uh, SharePoint page. Uh, but here in this case, this is the actual backend, uh, the source of that video file in the Microsoft Streams. I've got, uh, you know, transcriptions and all that happening here as well. So let's actually replace this with a new video that I've just uh, have uh, recorded. So to replace a video, go to the video page on Microsoft Stream, click on these three dots, and then click on replace video. So here you'll get an option to say, uh, uh, to replace the video itself, you can actually browse and add the new video here. So I'm going to drop the new how to create video instructions. And one thing to, uh, there's a few things to remember when you're actually replacing videos, right? So uh, when you replace a video, the old video gets deleted and also the thumbnails and any transcriptions, the captions or subtitle files that you've uploaded with the old video gets deleted as well. So it actually creates new set of uh, transcriptions or if you wanted to upload your own subtitles, you can up upload a new set of new subtitles as well. It will also disconnect if there's any, any forms, interactive forms that you attach to that particular video as well. Uh, however, it will keep the name, the URL to that video, and uh, permissions, the number of views, uh, and, and likes, and so on. So that's quite handy because you just wanted to continue on with that uh, usage metrics and uh, the details as well. So once you've uh, uploaded the video here, you just come and place replace. Once you've replaced, it's going to take some time. For, for the replacement to work. So um, we'll just have to wait and see how long it's gonna take. And one thing to keep in mind is when the replacing is happening, don't refresh the page to see if uh, if the replacing progress has, has, uh, has increased or not. I've done that mistake, by the way. Um, so it'll take a little while uh, for the replacement to work uh, and we'll just wait and watch until that's finished. For some reason, it, it goes to 50 and then comes back to the six, uh, uh, comes back to zero and then starts the progress again. But once it starts the the replacing progress, it's 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 not that bad. There you go. Once that's done, uh, you just don't, you even don't need to apply as well. So come out of this, and here you have a a new um, option for you. So if I just come back into my SharePoint page, just keep uh, keep an eye out for this uh, uh, this. Sh stream window and I'm going to do a refresh on this page and automatically if I play here is the new video that so I've just uploaded. New interface to create a new form. So that's how you would actually replace uh, older videos with the new videos especially if you're using uh, Microsoft Stream to host your instructional videos uh, around Microsoft uh, Office 365 apps because especially we know that Office 365 changes quite frequently uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. This is Jag Kakarlapuri from the Modern World Group. See you in the next one. Cheers.